Miss Lilly looking again for his fifth wicket in this innings. And he's got it. One of the stars of the game, Clive Lloyd, hit a magnificent 126 for Lancashire in this Gillette Cup final in 1972. It gave them their third consecutive title. They beat Warwickshire by four wickets. There's no need to chase that. They can be thrown back by the spectators at the far end of the ground. It's the first really authentic blow we've seen from Clive Lloyd. There are three men there on the offside. There is a gap between the bowler and mid-off, which is Bob Willis. And look at that. <laughs> Miles back into the crowd. What a tremendous strike. An attempted bumper by David Brown. And Lloyd didn't even bother going onto the back foot. down for that but it's a beautifully timed shot situation now is 147 wanted still a long long way to go eight wickets in hand 32 overs left <laughs> well a hammered straight by Clive Lloyd a superb shot takes him to a personal 50 takes Lancashire past the 100 mark brings a big round of applause from this packed house. <laughs> and yet again, tremendous shot by the big left-hander from Guyana. All strength and power going into yet another straight-driven four. Warwickshire badly needed now to break this partnership. And a superb square cut, let it come, weighed it for it, slashed it away. Four more. Well, this is a man who can win this game for Lancashire off his own bat. He's already cracked on to 62. Well, he made up for it with that one, Clive Lloyd. There was a look of determination on his face that he was going to get after that. Swept away for another four. 42 overs have been bowled, 85 runs then required, another 18 overs. Big Brown now bowling from the pavilion end. And immediately getting the treatment from Clive Lloyd, one bounce into the crowd, on the front foot. David Brown bowled his first four overs for just five runs and a wicket. Since then, he's bowled six overs for 24 runs. And that's surely gone into the crowd. So four followed by a superb six. And David Brown will have to pitch it a little further up to this man. out of Kenai's reach and four more not off the middle of the bat but very unnerving for the Warwickshire fieldsman and that could be it it is and what a great hundred this is from Clive Lloyd one of the finest innings ever seen on this ground. Tremendous hitting. And this West Indian now playing with Lancashire, mobbed by the youngsters. And he goes on to 101 with the total 174 for three. Only the second century ever made in a Gillette Cup final. 
The other one made by Jeffrey Boycott against Surrey. And Lloyd now goes on to 101. And that's four more just landing in front of the boundary rope. Beautifully struck by Lloyd. The 200 is up. Lloyd is 116. Hayes 26. And 49 overs gone. The crowd scattering out there. And what a blow that was. He hit that almost without effort. He's hit it away for six over mid-wicket. A ball of good length from Bob Willis. What an eye and what tremendous strength. And that must be out. It is. Clive Lloyd out. 126. And what a magnificent innings. It must be one of the greatest innings ever seen on this ground in any type of cricket. Two match winners here in Gloucestershire's first Gillette Cup final success way back in 1973. Mike.